If you're looking to start a short-term rental portfolio and keep the whole business automated, you are in the right place. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. Today I'm helping my man Jeff. Jeff, you're an IT investor from Cali. I am helping you get your short-term rental portfolio started, right? But you're busy. You're busy doing IT work, man. That's what you do during the day. That's how you make your money. And I'm going to help you build your wealth, right? You're making your day-to-day -day living expenses and your income out of your job. We're going to take your excess funds, build you wealth. One day you'll be able to walk away from that job, right? Now, the property I got for you, dude, it's going to work great as a short-term rental. And here at Holton Wise, what we do in our short-term rental business is we hit premium properties, in premium neighborhoods so we maintain a premium rent we want premium guests okay now holton wise i built this business we built our name we became the biggest name in the game in property management in the low income space right the section eight space okay i sold over 200 million dollars worth of investment and most of it is that stuff right that stuff doesn't work for long-term rentals. It ain't going to work, right? You're, you're, you're not going to be able to have like a duplex in a, like a D-grade neighborhood and upstairs you got a Section 8 tenant and downstairs you're trying to do Airbnb. Not going to work, okay? The risk level is too high. There's just too many problems with that. So we need to stick to something safe, and that's going to be the premium properties, the A-grade properties, right? We're going to price out a lot of the problems, make ourselves a solid return, make sure we're in neighborhoods with next to no crime, and that is exactly what I'm doing for you today in an A-grade neighborhood called Seven Hills, and I'm going to get into the details right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the details on this property. And we are going to need to move quickly on this one okay zero days on the market brother zero fucking days that means this some bitch literally just got put on the mls like within the last couple hours and i'm like oh hot damn we gotta hop on this motherfucker because this is perfect for what we want to do 508 east donwood drive seven hills 44131 375. I mean, you bet your ass we're going to have to pay 375. We are going to be in a multi offer situation. All right. This is basically, it's not new construction, but it's very, very close. It's only a 10 year old house. We really don't have to do a damn thing inside. Inside, it is legit. And it's in the middle of like a regular, uh, like little older neighborhood. This is like an infill build. Okay. So the majority of the houses in this neighborhood are not this new. Uh, but it's nice because this neighborhood has no HOA, no HOAs to worry about, okay? And everything in the house is very modern looking, right? I don't think we're going to have to do much, if anything. As far as renovations go, I put in there just a $5,000 buffer of, like, cleaning stuff up. But, like, I mean, look at it, dude. This is fucking great, right? This is what you fucking want. This is what your guests are going to want. But I got five grand in there just in case, like, when these people move out their stuff, you know, there's some things that, you know, like, when we're up close to it, need some addressing. Maybe we got to paint a little bit here, patch a couple holes here, do this, do that, replace carpet in a room or two. Like, the listing agent, right, what's their job? Their job's to make this look bad fucking ass, right? And they did a good job. They even got fucking fire in the fireplace going right now. That's a nice goddamn photo, right? Their job's to make it look legit, right? But you are watching it probably on your phone from my studio, 
she's like taking a nice like wide shot, right? But if you're actually up close, I'm sure it's not going to look that amazing. We might see things, right? So five thousand dollar buffer, and then of course twenty five grand to furnish it, right? We got to furnish it for our guests, and the name of the game is getting as many beds in there as possible. And I really think this is badass. I think this is one of our selling features up here. This like loft, dude. I want to stack this with, like, beds and stuff, right? I think that's going to be slick, right? We want to sleep as many people as we can. Huge kitchen. Great for those family reunions, man. This is awesome. Huge meeting space. That two-story living room, it's awesome. And then we'll sleep people in the three bedrooms. We'll turn the loft into, like, an open concept fourth bedroom. These bathrooms... They're not, like, amazing, but the price point I'm trying to hit, I don't really think we need to address them with how modern everything else looks. And, of course, the master bath looks pretty banging, right? You don't need every bathroom to be banging, but you need a couple, like, good good selling features, a couple, like, wow features. And I think this right here is our wow feature. I think our kitchen's good enough to be a wow feature, and I think this loft space is awesome, right? Don't need it to be another sitting room. Let's stack a bunch of beds in here, man. Let's sleep as many people as we can, right? On like sites like Airbnb, like the more people you can sleep, the more guests you can sleep, the higher you can charge, right? This solid, solid stuff, right? And then, of course, all the bedrooms, a bunch of bathrooms, just oodles of space. And then the backyard, it's private. It's fenced in so they can bring Fido on the family vacation. You got an awesome space out here for them to do a little cookout action. I mean, dude, this is legit perfect. The only issue we're going to face is dealing with a ton of other buyers, right? That's going to be the problem, right? And I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I'd be lying if I didn't say this. When you get a house like this where there is damn well going to be multiple offers, you have to understand that most real estate agents, all right, they're not Holton Wise. They don't typically watch Holton Wise TV. They don't typically sell real estate to a worldwide audience of real estate investors, right? 99% of the real estate agents out there that list properties like this, they see one thing and one thing only when they see a house like this. A house. A place to house a family. A family's going to buy it and they're going to move in. Now, we know the kind of money we can turn these things into, right? These are money-making machines to us. But a lot of these agents, they're not hip to the game. They don't understand that. So, that's why I need you to spend list price, if not a little bit higher, because the agent's going to look at us a little side-eyed. They're going to be like, what? Out-of-state investor never actually walked the property? Why does he want to buy it? It doesn't make any sense, right? So we're probably going to be competing with owner-occupant buyers. And, you know, these people, they're typically a little leery of the investor buyer, right? So that's just something you got to be cognizant of, right? So assuming we pay at least list, 375 Five in rental just to clean it up, 25 or so to furnish it, deck it out. We're all in at 405. As far as the monthly rent rate, we're going to be getting approximately 475 a night. So that would be 14,725 a month, 176 for the year. But you know that we don't get to keep it all. We have to factor in vacancy. I wish we could totally get our short-term rentals uh, to rent every day, but that's just not realistic, right? We need to throw in a 38% vacancy rate, which is the historical vacancy rate in Cuyahoga County, uh, as reported by Airbnb, right? So after you factor that with all your other costs and fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate you'll actually, your real return will be bringing home 5775 a month on average or 69000 for the year. Now, another thing, right? Ohio is a cold weather state, right? So uh, we're going to definitely likely receive most of that income throughout the year, throughout the warm months, right? There's going to be a lot slower action in your January, your February, right? But your April, May, June, July, August, right? Those are your banging months, right? But it should all even out to about 69 for the year. At a purchase price of 375 with the 30K in initial upfront investments, you're all in cash-wise, 123. The bank is going to kick in 303750 for the loan, which should result in a 44% cash-on-cash return for this completely passive investment in an A-grade neighborhood, A-grade property, 2011 build. All your mechanicals, man, 10 years old, right? Your roof should last you 30 years. we got another 20 years. Hot water tank, 
They last about 15, so you got about five. You're gonna have to drop a grand in the next five years to fix that, bad boy. FYI, and uh, furnace. They last about 30 years, so you got another 20 years on those, right? This is a solid deal. The only thing I'd be worried about with this deal, again, is all the competition from the owner-occupied buyers. So we gotta come quick. We gotta come aggressive. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.